Welcome to the Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread it all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand everything is planned out. Now, of course, guys, I get into those funny articles first. I actually have two today. And guys, do not forget to check out my main channel, The Crypto Teacher. The new economy that we're about to move over to, guys. Tokenization, crypto, no more physical currency, guys. But let's get into these funny articles. The tally of tech billionaires donating for the 2020 election. Now, guys, we know for a fact that they don't donate, guys. We know they go to the masses, the slaves, and collect the money. We know that for a fact. The same way they don't pay taxes, guys. Slaves pay, pay taxes. Usury laws, guys. Usury laws. Then, basically, we have the Dow log as big as one day gain since July. Guys, who did this? Did the people do this? Did the masses buy up all the stocks and run it up? No, guys. That was the Fed. The Fed is buying everything. So the Fed is going to be what? The last resort. We know universal basic income is coming around the corner because the robots are going to take the jobs, guys. Don't forget about that. Now, of course, guys, we're going to get over into some news. I know the election is going on, so I just want to touch on some points in this video. Now, of course, guys, we have not received any stimulus package. So, guys, we knew that was all planned out. We knew it wasn't going to be any stimulus package before this election, but they played it in the stock market, up and down, same way they do the C word, up and down, up and down. So, guys, you got to play it along with them. I told you the stock market was going right back up. Now, what's going to happen tomorrow? Of course, we're going to have turbulence tomorrow. Of course, you may want to sit out or you may want to jump in because we're definitely going to have some turbulence you may be able to get a deal tomorrow or whatever stocks that you're interested in. But we're definitely going to have turbulence tomorrow. We know the Fed talks on the 5th. So we know the market is always stable when the Fed talks. Now, once the Fed leaves, then that afternoon, then it may drop. You know, they normally meet around 2 o'clock. They normally talk. And then once it's over, the stock market lets you know whether they like what they said or not. But we know it's not the people. It's the algorithm. Did the algorithm like it or not? But, guys, the stimulus is definitely going to come. They know the holidays are coming up. The masses are going to hand that money right back to the corporations instead of saving it or investing it. We know this. Now, we have AT&T. Now, guys, it's very, very important. Remember, AT&T is cheap plus it's a dividend stock. AT&T is looking at selling a minority stake in DirecTV, AT&T Now, and Uverse Pay TV. That is very, very important. Make sure you put that on your calendar. Make sure you put this in some notes and look at it and keep close eye on this. Like I said, it's a cheap stock. We're starting to see companies starting to start back up buybacks. Why? And I'm going to go over that in a video on my Crypto Teacher channel because we know that if Democrats take president, if Biden gets president, we know taxes are going to come back. Taxes are going to hit. The stocks, but of course, if they start buybacks, they'll be buying their stock back all back over again, guys. The whole game starts over. And we have a lot of companies with cash on the side. Now, basically, we have Elon Musk says that Tesla was on the verge of filing bankruptcy during the Model 3 ramp up. But guys, we know it's a new world order stock. We know they haven't made any profits or earnings. They should have been bankruptcy and closed by now. But the new world order wants to keep it going. So we know that NASA, uh, the Nazis, all that is attached to Tesla. Don't forget about it. Now, going back over when it comes to the actual taxes, if Biden gets into office, I think his plan is probably the highest ever. And when it comes to a percentage-wise, it's the fifth highest. So this always happened. And we know when we have higher taxes, we know that's going to hit corporations. And what do corporations do? They hit the masses. No jobs. And we know where this wave is about to come. 
Just get yourself prepared. Get your family prepared. Start in putting your money and investing in the right pieces, guys. Not your financial advice, not financial advice, but I will get you ready. The emerging markets is where you want your money at, plain and simple. Drive over to, uh, to China if you have to. Drive over to India if you have to, guys. I'm telling you, because that's where all these corporations' money is going. The United States is over. It's done. Babylon is over. Now, we also have Goldman Sachs drops the euro from the list of, the list of currencies that are going to surge past the dollar. And guys, we know the euro is not that old. So basically, the euro started when? About the 90s. Guys, we know the euro is going to be digitized like the dollar. It's going to take a back seat. The digital yuan, Chinese currency, is going to be that number one. And we know they're going to be attached to London, the Rothschilds, plain and simple. And then lastly, guys, we have the Ant Group suspend this IPO in the Shanghai and Hong Kong. But we know it's coming. Make sure you get a piece. Remember, this is not financial advice. not your financial advisor. But if you're smart, find a way to get a piece, guys. Like I said, the emerging markets are pumping. That's $34 billion IPO. It is pumping. And guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget to check out the Crypto Teacher channel because I'm about to do a couple of videos on this election. Very, very important. And guys, like and subscribe and spread this channel everywhere. Because why, guys? Nobody likes the truth. That's why it's up to you to spread it. The truth hurts, guys. Plain and simple. Everybody wants to live a lie. That's the reason why what? The 1% has all the money and the 99% are slaves. Y'all have a wonderful day. It's driving that economic optimism that's boosting groups like industrials to the top and treasury yields to five-month highs. Yeah, Sarah, good to be with you guys again. Um, so one of the things that we're really focusing on are the signal that's coming from financial conditions. What are financial conditions? Financial conditions are things like you know, corporate credit spreads or interest rates, but also volatility, Sarah. So I think what the market has been saying this week, especially yesterday's rally and today, is that if you can remove this giant uncertainty that the world has been waiting for since November 3rd, that introduces another tailwind to financial conditions. And I think 10-year Treasury rates, and Michael mentioned this, 10-year Treasury rates are basically at the highest level uh, that we've seen post the March period. And that's telling us that there is no boogeyman in the bond market. There is no real sinister message coming from fixed income. And moreover, it's one where we see this continued expansion happening along with eventual fiscal policy that keeps rates up at these levels. So we are very pleased to see 10-year Treasury rates close to 90 basis points right now. That's additive to our view. What level of uh, rates, Phil, starts yep. to hurt certain sectors uh, because of their valuations? And uh, are, are you worried about that uh, occurring? Yeah, Wilfred, that's a great question. And, I, and I, you know, the, the last cycle, we had to answer this as well, because every time rates were buttoning up against 3%, which looks like another universe from here, we were getting that question. And Wilfred, it's all about the speed that rates move higher. That's what's really disconcerting. So if we see... You know, what we've seen over the past couple of weeks, which is just kind of a grind higher in rates, that's a good signal. So uh, there is no one single rate that the economy can't withstand. You know, a lot of people are talking about 1% as a possible top of the range. Well, but I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with that. We would be more concerned if rates just unhinged on the back end and caused a, a tightening in the financial conditions very quickly, similar to something like the taper tantrum, right? And, and that's, that's not our base case uh, in this in this in this economy post election.